So you wanna be a cop, but you are not sure which agency is best for you. Let's break them down. Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you are having a great end of your week so far. I know so many of you are looking forward to the weekend, as am I. So throughout the over two years I've been running this channel, a lot of you have come to me and said, what is the difference between working for a city police department, a county police department, or maybe a sheriff's office, and working for the state? So I figured I would do a video explaining some of those differences to you guys. The reason being, it might help you choose where you want to be. I personally have never worked for a state or federal agency, so my knowledge of their exact training and procedures are gonna be pretty limited. So let's talk about the difference between city, county, and state. And let's start with city police agencies. This is probably pretty self-explanatory to most of you, but most city jurisdictions are relatively small and very urban. Usually in a city, it is crammed with a large number of people and you are basically looking at concrete and asphalt your entire shift. And cities are typically known to be a lot more dangerous too. Cities are usually where you have your gangs, your drugs, and your low income areas. Typically working for a city, you are going to see a lot more action than you would working for the county or the state. Working for a city, you're going to be responding to more fights, to more shootings, to more armed robberies, to more murders, things like that. It's not like this for every agency, but uh, it, locally where I'm at, they say that two years of experience with the city is equivalent to about five years of experience with the county. So me working for the city for eight years was basically the equivalent of about 20 years where I'm at now. So basically, if you want very good experience on the job, uh, city police department is usually the place to go. Now let me also interject very quickly to say not every city is great to work for either. There's actually a documentary on Netflix about Flint, Michigan and their low income with the police department, their low budget. Um, so not every city is great to work for. Cities typically have a lot less of a budget than county or state does, obviously state. So moving on to county police or county sheriff's office. What I personally love about the county police is there is a much broader area that you have to cover in your shift. When I first joined the county police department, I realized one of their zones was actually nine times the size of the entire city jurisdiction that I was working in before, and that was just one zone. Obviously not every zone is that big, but that really put in perspective the amount of area that I had to cover now. So now instead of just driving stop sign to stop sign all night near the projects, uh, I was actually going to be out on the open road, which I was really excited about. That was really the only thing about the city I did not like, is you're basically driving stop sign to stop sign all night. I, didn't like that. We only really had one highway in the city, but they didn't want you to hang out there all night, so it is what it is. The other good thing about the county is we have a much bigger budget. When I first came over, I was absolutely amazed at their mechanic shop. We had one old crusty dude that worked on all of our cars in the city. And the guy was awesome, he was good at what he did, but he would take a week or more to fix your car. The building he worked at was old, it had one roll-up door. So when I came over to the county and I saw this huge building with like 10 roll-up doors, I was like, I'm about to be in and out this bitch. Sure enough, 45 minutes later, I had four new tires on my car an oil change and I was out like a boner in sweatpants. Now the good thing about the county is we also have nicer cars, we have nicer computers, just nicer equipment in general. When I first joined the city police department, I was issued an old vest. Not only was it somebody else's vest, it was also expired. It was expired by four years. That's a huge safety issue. Uh, you don't have that at the county where I'm at now. Uh, you regularly get a new vest. The other thing I had to take into account when I came to the county is I noticed that the city had a much stronger camaraderie with each other. We all hung out together off duty. We would go hang out with each other's families and stuff. It's not so much like that with the county. The county is very clicky. It's almost like high school in a way, but there's just a difference. You know, there's a, there's a separation from other people because there's people on my shift that I've never actually worked with. We come to work at the same time, but they work in such a far away area of the county. I never see them and we don't go to the same briefing. In the city, that wasn't so much that way because everybody worked around everybody. It was just very close knit. And that's what I do miss about the city. But overall, I do enjoy with the county, I do enjoy the fact that I can go into a densely populated area if I choose to, or I can be out on dirt country roads. Now, moving on to state police. If you think working for a county is going to be rural, state police, your backup might be an hour away. Now, it's not always gonna be like that. There's state troopers that oftentimes come into the city and work with us, uh, but a lot of times they're not going to be there. They're going to be on some road in the middle of nowhere, and seriously, your backup might be like 45 minutes away. My biggest recommendation to you guys, I would not recommend becoming a state trooper unless you know that you can hold your own for an hour. If you can hold your own for an hour on the side of the road, go for it. 
If you don't think you can, I would not put in for that position. But seriously, in Georgia, there are still towns where at night there is no officer working. There's only an officer on page. So if you're a state trooper, you might have to work that area sometimes and you're gonna be completely by yourself. But the good thing about working for a state agency is there tends to be a, a more vast area that you can branch off of. So you have like air patrol or marine patrol, even protection of the governor. So if you want more variety and you're looking to get more into a specialized division, um, joining the state police, they have a lot of divisions that branch off of you know, just the regular state troopers that work the road. So overall, my general consensus, if you want experience and you wanna chase people through the projects, uh, you know, you wanna respond to armed robberies and you want excitement, I would definitely recommend City Police Department. If you want something a little bit more mellow, but maybe, you know, still has some of the city characteristics incorporated into it, work for the county. If you just wanna be out on open roads, working the interstate, writing tickets, State Trooper is the job for you. Anyway guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and make sure to be safe. I will see you guys very, very soon.